is a phenomenal and courageous breast cancer survivor. Alma, tell me a little bit about your story on your journey. Just a little a brief snippet on your story of being a breast cancer survivor. Um, I'm grateful. I'm blessed. I'm cured. Uh, and I carried into this journey with me the mantra that I might have cancer, but cancer doesn't have me. Well, I'm a uh, prostate cancer survivor, five years over, okay. uh, four years, uh, five years ago at the age of 40. Uh, they told me I had uh, stage four prostate cancer and it almost knocked me out, but it, it just ended up knocking me down. And I wrote a book called You Are Victorious, Overcoming in the Sport Called Life. And, and uh, that's why they asked me to come and be a speaker. I stand here on behalf of my pink sisters that have gone on and represent as a six-year breast cancer survivor. Yes, ma'am. Living some wonderful shade of pink every single day. I feel awesome. <laughs> For them to tell me that it was going to keep growing and it's pretty much just going to kill me and then the fact that it's shrinking and it's still shrinking, even now the fact that it did shrink, they keep saying don't get too excited because it can go the opposite way. But I just have faith that not only that it's stable, that it's going to go completely away. That's just honestly how I feel with or without treatment. I just feel, I feel good. God is good. Giving back to whatever the case may be, I'm all involved. I'm all about giving back, you know. Between my cousin and I and our program, C2BS Cool to Be Safe and all the other foundations I'm a part of, it just makes sense. I met Jerika and when she told me the reason behind this with her mother and everything, that right there just touched my heart and when I just checked out a red side and seen how beautiful this event was, it was a it was a no-brainer. I so admire what Jerika is doing. Plus, my mother passed away from lung cancer, so I truly believe in the cause, and I like to support her as much as I can. You know what? I would say it's difficult, but I think the best thing you can do is try to support others and encourage them who are going through that that situation, and that's why I'm here. cancer. I hate what it stands for. I hate what it does to people. And it's time that we do more research and raise more money to help find a, a permanent cure for it. I am very proud of my daughter. She has put this on and it is growing and we're just so happy to be here. So Ms. Happy. Sarah? Yes, uh, it is so wonderful because it gives people the opportunity to learn more about cancer. And that is something that we do not have in the community is the love and sharing, even after having suffered grief. Jerika, what I want to say to you as far as wisdom is that you go with your dreams. What you're doing here is inspiring people in this cause. Rather, if we are victims, survivors, or participants, I just want to thank you for giving me the knowledge that I did not have before coming here to this event. We're bringing awareness and education to all forms of cancer. Uh, this is our fifth year we've been doing it, and it's growing. We, 200 plus today mm -hmm. and um, I'm, I'm very well overwhelming just happy about today bringing awareness and having everyone come out support it wearing their hats for the different colors of cancers I have on yellow because my mom had bladder cancer so I'm just in awe very emotional because it's been a great day it's been a lot of challenges but we, we pulled through and we made it happen and we brought some awesome awesome speakers our Ask the Doctors was great food was great our wonderful host DeMarco and Egypt so I, I'm just happy I'm overwhelmingly happy